लगता है Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm B, and I'm so excited for today's video because we are going to be doing a 24-hour thriller readathon. You guys, I am so excited for this video, and the reason for that is because I have been reading a lot of fantasy lately, which I absolutely love. But fantasy is a lot slower of a read for me. And while I've been reading the fantasy books that I've been reading super, super high, I really, really miss reading the kind of book that makes you want to just sit down and read all day. Day. and for me those books are thrillers hands down which is actually like such a huge character arc for me because I used to not want to go near anywhere near a book that was dark in any way because reading was my escape it was like I only read feel-good books but I think it was like kind of recently like in the like last two years that I've been reading more thrillers and I've loved like almost every single one of them like on my thriller shelf that I'm looking at right now I have like The Silent Patient, Verity by Colleen Hoover those are both so good, One of Us is Next, One of Us is Lying, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series the guest list that one was also really really good so anyway I've kind of grown to love thrillers and that's why I've just been in a mood to read a thriller I want a book that has me turn in pages at the end that being said I am currently reading a fantasy right now which is vow of thieves which is a sequel to dance of thieves and I want to start with this so for those of you who are new to the concept of 24-hour readathons everyone has a different way of doing this but I like to read for 24 hours not 24 hours straight I do like to get my sleep in maybe one day I'll be able to attempt a 24-hour straight readathon but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a timer set on my phone or iPad or whatever and I'm gonna start the timer and every time I'm reading it's gonna be playing anytime I stop reading I'm gonna pause it and I'm not gonna stop reading until I hit the 24 hour mark on this timer so it's early today it's 7 20 I'm, I'm guessing I'm gonna start reading at like 8 or something like that and get as many hours as possible in today and then continue tomorrow but I'm gonna quickly show you the books that I plan on reading. So I know this is supposed to be a thriller readathon, but I do want to finish the book I'm currently reading, which is Vow of Thieves, which is the sequel to Dance of Thieves. I'm like halfway through, but I don't like leaving books unfinished. And this is a really, really, really good book. I read it Dance of Thieves, five stars. I think this is gonna be another five star read. And we're just gonna finish this so we can get it out of the way for the thriller readathon, but I love this book, so very happy about that. Now, as for the thrillers, I'll show you my options, but I don't know which ones I'm gonna read yet. So if you're new to my channel, this little mini bookshelf beside my bed is my TBR bookshelf. So these are all of the books that I haven't read yet that I own. And then my big bookshelf is all the books that I have read yet. So this readathon is kind of also an attempt to <laughs> get through my physical TBR. Anyway, these are my thriller options. We have The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. I've been wanting to read this for literally forever. And the guest list, like I told the one the book I told you I read that was a thriller was so good and was by Lucy Foley. So I already know I like her writing style. So this might be a good option. There's The Cheerleaders by Cara Thomas. There's also The Cousins by Karen and McManus. I read One of Us is Next, One of Us is Lying by Karen and McManus. Loved them both. Rated one five stars, rated one 4.5 stars. So high expectations here. I already know I love her writing style. This is a really, really good option. And then finally, oh, I'm excited for this one. This one's None Shall Sleep by Ellie Marnie. And that's another option. Obviously, I'm not going to get through all of these. I am a slow reader, okay? I, by all means, will not be reading a ton of books. But these challenges are still so fun because I get a lot of reading in and after coming out of exam season, that is exactly what I need because I haven't been reading much lately and I miss reading so much. So it's 7.30 right now. I think I want to drive to a Starbucks, get a drink, maybe some food. I'm not really hungry right now, so maybe just a drink. We will see and finish Vow of Thieves, which is really, really good right now. Yes, that is the plan. And then we will come back and decide what, what thriller to get into next. Maybe I'll put a poll up for you guys and you guys can choose what I read first. I think I'll do that because then I don't have to choose myself. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I just put up the poll on my Instagram for what book I should read first out of all of these thrillers. And while waiting, I'm just gonna finish Vout with Thieves. And I'm gonna bring this, I usually take this purse with me everywhere, but I need one big enough to fit a book. So I'm gonna take my big purse. And we are going to bring this with me. Also, yeah, I take I take the hard sleeves off of hardcovers when I read them just because I find it a lot easier to read. Yay! Let's go. Okay, you guys. 
super awkward because I'm filming in the parking lot so like a lot of people are staring at me but I made it to page 453 I literally have the tiniest sliver left but it's freezing in the Starbucks and I was shivering and I was like you know what I'm I just want to finish the last bit in warmth because I want to savor it because this book is so freaking good And there's no third book like this is the this is the ending of it And I love this series so much So I'm gonna go home get warm and finish the last like 10 pages of this book. So let's go Okay, you guys I'm back home. It's freezing. My toes are frozen. They're numb, but it's time to finish this book I'm so excited. Okay, gonna read You guys I finished the book and like that was such a sweet ending I got like kind of emotional it's just like I will miss this world so much I really really enjoyed it and I'm shocked because this was a 500 page book both of these were 500 page books and if there's anything I like to stay away from it's political fantasies or I don't know the term for them but ones that are well where the plots are heavily like politics based like you know kings and queens and this and that and blah 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 and it's no shock to me that I liked the first book Dance of Thieves because it's really heavily a romance book like most of the book was Cassie and Jace's moments together but Vow of Thieves Thieves was a little hesitant to read because I was like okay now that the big romance plot happened and Cassie and Jace are together already I feel like this book is obviously going to be more political based off of what happened in the last book and it's still 500 pages so I was like oh my gosh I don't know if it's going to hold my interest or anything like that it so did but it was so captivating the whole book there was no slow part for me and I just loved it so much by the end I was just in love with all of the characters that's why it was so emotional for me it's because I feel like I've gotten to know all of them and I care about them and the ending was beautifully done it was so good it was so heartwarming and oh my gosh I just that was such a good series but now it's time to move on to a thriller book and see what you guys chose in the poll so let's see what the result is because I haven't checked yet okay I just checked the poll and you guys have spoken and the winner is the Paris apartment I'm actually so happy that you guys chose this because this is a thriller I've been anticipating the most on my TBR and I've been wanting to read this for forever so I'm so excited to start with this. I also love, what are these called? The end, when the edges are like rugged like this. Scalloped edges or something like that, I don't know. But without further ado, let's get into book two. Okay, this has short chapters. I'm a huge fan of short chapters. We love. We love, we love, we love. Okay, update, it's two o'clock. I'm five hours into the challenge and 48 pages into the Paris apartment, which is so good so far, by the way. Like, we'll say that most of the characters are unlikable, except for the main character. I like her because she's like kind of feisty and I like that. But yeah, all the rest are unlikable, which makes it an interesting read. It's really refreshing to read a book where you don't like all the characters you're not made to like all the characters or the way that some of the characters think and a lot of these povs have motive for the suspicious things happening in this book so it's interesting to kind of guess who the unreliable narrators might be but i do not have any guesses yet like i do not know what it could be not like i would get it right anyways i usually don't get it right for mysteries or thrillers the last book i read of lucy foley the guest list i had no idea how the mystery would unravel like i had no clue who the person could be i had my guesses anyway i am gonna go get some more food because the pastry that i got at starbucks was not enough and i scarfed that down by the way well let's go make some more food potential romance in this ah! as a romance gal you know i'm happy about that woo woo! oh my god you guys plot twist on page 162 what the actual heck sorry for the terrible lighting but this book is getting so good it's literally seven o'clock which like time goes by so fast especially when you're like hooked by a book but i think i'm gonna go shower and make dinner and eat because i'm hungry so i'm gonna pause the timer and then play it when i start reading again as 
my soup heats up, I have to keep reading because I like literally this whole time, like I first of all, I took the quickest shower ever and I'm like making this super fast because I've just been thinking about the book and I just want to get right back into it. And I want to hit the point where things start unraveling because I just want to know the answer to all these questions. Like there was a mini, okay, it wasn't like a mini plot twist, but it was like a maybe like a medium plot twist on that page that I was telling you guys earlier and it like explained a little tiny bit, but even that like shocked me. So I'm like so curious as to what the actual ending is going to be and how everything unravels but I'm on page 186 so I feel like I still got a little bit of ways to go before the loose thread comes undone but I miss the feeling of reading and being so engrossed into the book that time goes by so fast because that's literally what's been happening like I've been sitting on that couch for hours and literally didn't feel like it hasn't felt like it because I've just been like immersed into this and I miss that feeling so much I think my soup is ready and I'm very hungry so I'm gonna eat and keep reading okay she's sizzling I really don't think I was supposed to leave it on this long <laughs> yeah it's definitely ready You know, now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look very Parisian, but I will take it. I'm so hungry, this looks delicious. I've got me soup, I restarted the timer, and it's time to read and eat. God, you guys. I literally was sitting here all tired and then things started to unravel and I'm literally like, what is happening? And then page 235, my jaw is on the floor. What is happening? Oh my God. Okay, you guys, 1248 and I am finished the Paris apartment. You guys, those last few pages were crazy. I did not guess how the plot would unfold, which is super impressive because I read The Guest List by Lucy Foley. So I was like, okay. So I saw one example of the way that this author, Lucy Foley, delivers an ending that you you didn't expect. So I was like, maybe in this book, I'll be able to pick up on it or something based off of that other book. Nope, nope, not at all. And if I can't guess the plot twist for, the mystery, for a mystery or thriller, and it's a satisfying delivery, easy four stars and above yeah it was just so good i can't give a full review because i'm so tired but don't forget to follow my goodreads because i post reviews on there but anyway i know this is a challenge but i'm gonna go to bed i'm so tired i really value my sleep <laughs> So I'm going to take off my makeup. It's getting so oily. It's kind of gross and have the best sleep ever and then wake up and continue where I left off. I stopped the timer by the way, so we're just going to finish it off tomorrow. But bye. Good morning, you guys. It's the next morning. It's like 847, almost nine o'clock and we're resuming the timer. We have just under nine hours left of this challenge and I'm so excited to start a new book. I decided I'm gonna go with The Cousins by Karen M. McManus because this was the one you guys voted for the second most in the poll. So I figure why not read this next? And I also think this is a great second book to read because I'm already familiar with the author's style of writing. Just like the first book because I read One of Us is Next and One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus and I love her writing style and I was able to read those really fast. So this should be a good read for the day. And this one seems like it might be spookier than the first. The first one I did have a few moments where I was like like scared but it wasn't super like scary it was more like mystery than like thriller so I think this one might be more thriller than mystery so I'm so excited to read this I'm so ready to read after a good <laughs> night's sleep and I made a matcha latte oh it's not a latte because it doesn't have milk right I think that's how it works <laughs> it's just matcha and it's hot and I need this because it's kind of chilly outside but it's the perfect reading weather so let's get reading I have to take this off first and foremost I love the cover so much but I don't like reading with those on. This is what it looks like under me. I like it. Okay, this is crazy. When it says like the grandmother disinherited the kids, like she doesn't even, she didn't even show up to their weddings, their kids' births. Like something must have happened. This is a great setup for the rest of the book. Like I'm, what happened? Like why would their own mother completely be like shut off from her own three kids? Like they must have done something really bad. So I'm so curious. We're getting the parents POVs from when they were younger. So like a little flashback POV. Did not expect that. Guys, do I even update you at every plot twist? Because I feel like this book is going to have a lot. But <laughs> what the heck? Mm -hmm. 